What is up everyone? Thomas here and welcome to the Witch Pit Sound Series. In this video today, we're going to be talking about the Sabathi. The Sabathi is the brand new pedal from Desert Doom and it is the first ever one knob fuzz that is based off the Boss FC2. This octave fuzz has a massive low frequency boost paired with the added presence of an analog octave up circuit, making this pedal an explosive boosted octave fuzz designed specifically for downtuned guitars and basses. Very simple layout on this pedal, the one knob controls the overall output volume, gain is adjustable inside via an internal trim pipe, and the pedal runs on a 9 volt power supply. And just like the previous releases from Does It Doom, you can expect the same high quality components such as Neutra Jacks, Alpha Pot, Panasonic Relay, just to name a few. You get that signature look of the big Ormat style knob, the silver powder coat, and amazing artwork from Earthward. Today's demo is going to be very special. I got the entire band in on this one. So the first part of the demo will be the Sabathi in a full mix. The second part will be the isolated guitar and bass tracks. And then finally at the end, we'll talk about the gear we used and our signal chains. Signal path for the demo, we start with my Gibson SG Series 1, we're tuned to drop B. From the guitar we went into the Sabathi, I had it about three quarters of the way up. From the Sabathi we go into the Micro T, I had both channel gains at around three. And then from the Micro we went into the load box, and I'll let Mike explain all that stuff to you. That was guitar one, and then guitar two was the same exact setup, but I had a Tube Screamer boosting the Sabathi. Signal path for the bass was uh, Gibson RD running through the Doomcaster, which was turned all the way up. Um, plugged in over here to the Ampeg V4, trusty little buddy here, right into the board. Straightforward, short and simple. And for Thomas, when we came out of his um, guitar head here, we went straight out of the speaker output into the amp input on this reactive load box out of the DI portion direct to the line in on my Apogee 
uh, Element 24 into Pro Tools. Once in Pro Tools, we used uh, the STL Libra IR loader. Um, and we'll have, uh, in, in the description, Thomas is going to put all the information about this. It's a great box I got on Reverb from a great builder. And, uh, and he'll, you know, in the comments, we can discuss uh, what particular IRs we used. Um, you know, if that's something that interests you. All right, Zach's bass, when he left the direct out from his uh, head, his SVT, uh, the direct out went straight into my Apogee Element 24, into Pro Tools, and the only thing we used in Pro Tools for him was the uh, Brainworks SVT VR plugin from Plugin Alliance. We just used that for the cab simulation uh, part of the head. Well, that concludes today's demo. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions on where to get these, I'll have the links in the description. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out tremendously. We've got a lot of new content we're going to drop for our new album. I know you don't want to miss it, so stay tuned, and uh, I guess I'll see y'all at the next video. Thank y'all for watching.